Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So go to the launcher and then click on game settings and then select manage and then click on open the installation directory. Now this will take you to the game installation folder and then open AB infinite folder binaries win64 and you will find the game exe file over here. So you will find UAE game and you will find game loader. So you can try both the exe files. So make a right click on the exe file, select properties and go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, again go to properties and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK and launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then you can launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, do the same thing with this exe file. Make a right click, select properties and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK and then you can launch the game. If that does not work, do the same thing. Uh, you can put a check over here, select Windows 8 over here, hit apply. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then you can launch the game from here. So make a double click and then launch the game from here. So let me close the game for now. Now still not working. The next step is to, so you can scroll down. So when you put a check on all these boxes, if it's not working, then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK. Do the same thing with the first exe file, make a right click, select properties and then you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to uninstall anti-cheat expert and then launch the game. So again you can go to the game installation folder, go to game settings, open installation directory and then once you go to the game installation folder, now open engine folder, binaries, I'm sorry, go back, open AB infinite, binaries and then open Win64 and then open anti-cheat expert and over here you can see Ace setup 64, make a double click, click on yes to allow and then here you can see this will uninstall anti-cheat expert, continue, do not uninstall on game running or may lose connection. So Make sure game is closed and then you can click on yes. And once the uninstall is complete, now you can launch the game. Now when you launch the game, during the launch, it will install Ace Anti-Cheat Expert. Here you can see it's installing the Anti-Cheat once again. Once the installation is complete, it should be able to launch the game. So in my case here you can see the game is launching. Let me close this. Now still not working. The next step is to create a backup of movies folder and empty movies folder. So you can go to the game installation folder once again and then go back and open AB infinite and then open the content folder. Now over here you will see the movies folder. So here you can see movies file. So you can just create a backup. If you want this, you can just copy it, copy this file and you can paste it somewhere, create a backup. And then once the backup is created, you can make a right click and then you can delete this. And after you delete it, now you can launch the game and then check. The next step is to, now if you're using any antivirus program, like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, Make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security in Windows 11. In Windows 10, go to update and security and then click on Windows security 
and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection now click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the game folder and then open ap infinite folder binaries win64 and select the exe file click on open again click on add and allow that browse all apps and then open select the second exe file click on open and then again click on add and allow app browse all apps and then go back and check if there are any other exes file engine binaries wins no so those are the two exe file now once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add again click on allow another app click on add sorry click on browse and then select the first exe file click on open now click on add so once the game is added now you can click on ok and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files or repair the game files so you can go to launcher and then click on game settings and then click on repair over here now once the repair is complete now you can launch the game now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's ge force experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse over here again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder open ab infinite binaries win64 and select the game exe file now click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now again go to browse and then select the second exe file now click on add once the game is added over here now click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download x86 and x64 so click on x86 and then I run this exe file click on repair if you see repair if you see install click on install click on yes to allow and then download this x64 file as well and then so click on it again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install in my case i have already installed so please ignore the error message it's telling me to restart my computer so once done make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check 
Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So, so to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have these devices like hotas, pedals, racing wheel or any kind of USB adapter or dongle connected, disconnect external devices and then launch the game. If you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disable overlay. So if you have any kind of overlay application running, like if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then you can launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Make sure that you click on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Then click on apply click on OK, you will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, in that case, you can go to game settings and then click on manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. So after you uninstall it, delete the game folder. Once this is deleted, now you can install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game working successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.